For number two, part A, it helps to find the normalized radiation pattern. So F is equal to S over S max, and that's going to be cosine to the power of four theta. Now we can solve for theta when F is equal to 0.5. So there's going to be two different theta angles at which the amplitude, if this is one for our normalized radiation pattern, we want to go to about this green area here. So we want to know at what angle theta we're going to reach an amplitude of 0.5. And the first half, pa uh, half power point occurs when theta is 32 point seven six five degrees if we want to include that many significant digits <laughs> and then uh, along the other axis since the beam actually since the beam is symmetrical we can just say that the half power beam width is two times theta one r which is sixty five point five three degrees to calculate in part B the half, the beam pattern solid angle, we want to integrate only over the main lobe of the antenna. And the main lobe of the antenna is described as only being in the top hemisphere. So that means to calculate the beam pattern solid angle, we should integrate phi from zero to two pi as usual, but we want to only integrate zero to pi over two. And that's because our radiation pattern, if we use cosine to the fourth power theta to describe the radiation pattern, it's going to repeat in the bottom half of the coordinate system. This is x, y, and z. The function repeats, but the radiation pattern does not. So we want to not integrate that artificial peak that we see if we just look at this function. And we want to integrate just from 0 to pi over 2. So I'm going to put in cosine or theta d omega. And d omega is sine theta d theta d phi. It's not a function of r. And this was given to us the integration with respect to theta was given to us as being one-fifth. And then the integration with respect to phi is just going to be um, two pi. So we're going to get beam pattern solid angle is two pi times one-fifth, or two pi over five, and that's in units of stair radians, which is about 1.26 stair radians. If you compare this to an isotropic radiator, the isotropic radiator has a beam pattern solid angle of 12.57 stair radians. So the beam pattern solid angle for this antenna is a lot narrower, uh, meaning it has more directivity and it's focused more in a certain direction.